welcome you all to the June Mabush Parish School Board meeting. Just a reminder, we do access you all silence, silence all cell phones as we begin. We're going to go ahead and begin with an invocation by Ms. Mary Petita, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance and by Dr. Noskaya. Heavenly Father, who art we are truly grateful for your guidance and discernment as we navigate uncharted waters through this past school year. Thank you for standing by us each step of the way to ensure the year was a success. Please watch over us and protect all employees, students, and families as they seek a relaxing and rejuvenating summer. Tonight, be with us as we make decisions to move our school system forward. Let these decisions center around you and be in the accordance with your will. We ask all of this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. D. Roll call. Here. Mr. Blutery? Here. Dr. Giaf? Here. Ms. Bourgeois? Here. Mr. Dickman? Here. Mr. Schwest? Here. Mr. Plazos? Here. Mr. Plans? Here. Mr. Long? Here. Mr. Archer? Mr. Bernard? Here. And Ms. Shelley? Item E. To recognize Ms. Brooke Huddleston, who vacated her seat on the Lucas Power School Board as of April 6, 2021. Mr. Martin? Uh, yes, Madam President. Ms. Brooke Huddleston vacated her seat on the Fouche Parish School Board as of April 6, 2021. Ms. Huddleston served as the Fouche Parish School Board District 2 representative from January 1, 2015 to April 6, 2021. Ms. Huddleston also served as president of the board from January 2019 to December of 2020. pleasure serving on the board. It was a pleasure working with all of you and the ones that I worked with prior. I'm looking forward to the partnership and the relationship uh, with you being in Head Start. We're hoping to send you a great product and a, a better student. So we're looking for a good partnership with Ms. Daphne, with, with our students with exceptionalities and disabilities, and just our students going into preschool. So thank you all. standing on the street just gathering and next thing you know here comes somebody that says y'all need to be still y'all in the video as of right now don't move <laughs> and I think they got our feet yeah I want to thank you as well not only for the professionalism that you brought to this board but also for the lasting friendship that we'll have hopefully on you. so thank you I didn't serve with Brooke, but I just wanted to compliment her on her glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Only she could pull that off. <laughs> yeah, so I want to say thank you as well, and I want to wish you all the best of luck in your new position and um, the continued support of the school district and the Thank you. And also would like to say thank you very much for your service to the board. We appreciate you. And best wishes in your new endeavor. Thank you. All right, item F, 
the Lafourche Parish School Board, uh, School District Retiree Slideshow. Yes, Madam President. Uh, this evening we put together a slideshow. Uh, in, in all honesty, I hope this is the last time we have to celebrate folks in a virtual setting as we get out of this pandemic and get back to normal. But we have a great presentation uh, scheduled for tonight, and this is to recognize the retirees for the 2021 school year. Lafourche Parish School District retirees for the 2020 21 school year. Total years of experience, 1,812.62 years. Supervisory staff, 93.5 years of experience. Frank Pasqua, Director of Child Welfare and Attendance, 51.5 years of service. Frank Pasqua served this great district for over 50 years. His pride in his work, passion for the law, and love of a good joke will never be surpassed. I hope to always remember his sound advice and I know that his positive influence will last a lifetime. Jared Martin, Superintendent. Marcus Danos, Manager, Maintenance Department, 42 years of service. Congratulations on your retirement. Your commitment and dedication to Lafourche Schools over the years is greatly appreciated. Congrats and best of luck in all your future endeavors. Afan Ortiz, Business Manager. School Administration, 61.5 years of experience. Holly Busigard, Principal, South Rose Elementary, 32.5 years of service. Thank you, Ms. Holly Busigard, for your 32.5 years of service to Lafourche Parish School District. Ms. Busigard loves when her students succeed and celebrates their accomplishments in both in school and in the community. She has worked hard to establish a positive culture and climate at South Rose Elementary she works very hard to create a well-balanced school day of work and fun. Nancy Curall, Associate Director of Elementary Education. Ken Robichaud, Principal, Bayou Buff Elementary, 29 years of service. Thank you, Mr. Ken Robichaud, for your 29 years of curriculum knowledge, community involvement, and student-centered leadership. In the word, Mr. Robichaud always addressed his students, friend, we will miss you. Nancy Curall, Associate Director of Elementary Education. Teachers, 707.5 years of service. Deborah Hebert, teacher, Chagbe Elementary, 34 years of service. Miss Debbie was a great teacher who always kept things fun. She always dressed up on special days to make the kids laugh and had a great sense of humor. And the kids absolutely adored her. We know she is enjoying all the camping trips and living life to the fullest but we miss her tremendously. Lacey McKinney, Principal, Chuck Bay Elementary. Zena Melanson, Teacher, South La Rose Elementary, 33 years of service. Great teacher and wonderful staff member. She will be remembered for all her baked goods. She will be missed by students and staff. Holly Busigard, Principal, South La Rose Elementary. Monique Martin, Teacher, South La Fouche High School, 32.5 years of service. South Lafourche has been part of Monique Morton's life since birth. Both of her parents were part of the faculty when she was young. She grew up at the school and being a teacher at the school became a natural progression of her life. Monique was always calm and professional. She continued to help all aspects of our school right up until her last day of work. We are truly going to miss her, but know she is enjoying being a grandmother. Gay Sheremy, Principal South Lafourche High School. Thomas Boudreau, teacher, Salafouche High School, 32 years of service. Thomas Thibault Boudreau was a transplant to Salafouche at the end of his career. Salafouche wishes we would have had him part of our faculty sooner. He was always professional and worked as hard on his last day of work as he did on his first day of work at our school. We wish him well in retirement, even though he will be spending time supporting Alabama football. Gay Sheremy, Principal, Salafouche High. Shelly Bro, teacher, W.S. Lafarge, 32 years of service. Shelly Bro has had a profound impact on W.S. Lafarge. The knowledge and experience that she always brought to conversation helped others to be better educators. Monique Tozan, principal, W.S.L. Denise Claymont, teacher, Thibodeau Elementary, 32 years of service. Ms. Denise was an awesome pre-K teacher and mentor to new teachers. She always was eager to help out in any way she could. We will miss her and wish her a happy retirement. Robin Bourgeois, Principal, Thibodeau Elementary. 
Paula Claymont, teacher, West Thibodeau Middle School, 32 years of service. Ms. Claymont has been an asset to West Thibodeau since the day she walked on campus. She's dedicated, humble, and carried a positive spirit and attitude with everyone she encountered. She wore many hats and always went above and beyond to serve others. Administration, faculty, staff, and students at West Thibodeau Middle will miss Ms. Claymont. Latanya Young, Principal, West Thibodeau Middle. Sharon Serenade, teacher, Thibodeau Elementary, 31.5 years of service. Ms. Sharon was an awesome kindergarten teacher. She mentored new teachers and always had a smile on her face. She was always there when teachers needed someone to talk to. Thibodeau Elementary misses her smile, but we wish her a happy retirement. Robin Bourgeois, Principal, Thibodeau Elementary. Ramona Email, teacher, Thibodeau High School, 30.5 years of service. Thanks for your service and dedication to Thibodeau High. Hope you are enjoying your first full year of retirement. Glenn Haydell, Principal, Thibodeau High. Deidre Giesen, teacher, Thibodeau High School, 30 years of service. Thanks for your dedication and service to Thibodeau High. You have helped many students achieve their goals by guiding them on the appropriate path. Enjoy your retirement. Glenn Haydell, Principal, Thibodeau High. Rhonda Little, teacher, Lockport Lower Elementary, 29.5 years of service. Miss Little was the perfect example of everything a kindergarten teacher should be. Loving, firm, flexible, and patient. She truly loved teaching kindergarten. Decina Rodriguez, Principal, Lockport Lower. Katie Abair, teacher, W.S. LaFarge, 29.5 years of service. Katie Abair's caring, focused attitude helped children and adults to shine. The knowledge that was shared with uh, her colleagues was valuable. Monica Tozan, Principal, WSL. Mark Arsenault, teacher, Thibodeau High School, 29 years of service. Thanks for your service and dedication to Thibodeau High. You carried a long legacy in the Ag Department. Hope you are enjoying your new job. Glenn Haydale, Principal, Thibodeau High. Kim Boudreau, teacher, Bayou Blue Middle School, 28 years of service. Mr. Boudreau was a leader at our school. His love for kids was his best trait and he will be missed. Bayou Blue Middle School wishes you well. Andre Adams, Principal, Bayou Blue Middle. Renee Begnell, teacher, St. Charles Elementary, 28 years of service. The knowledge and compassion that Renee has for students with special needs is priceless. She goes above and beyond and always brings out the best in others. She has made a huge difference in the lives of the Wildcat family. Andrea Delcom, Principal, St. Charles Elementary. Christine Graham, teacher, Thibodeau High School, 28 years of service. Thanks for all of your years of service and dedication to Thibodeau High. Your hard work and dedication has guided many students along their college career path. Enjoy your retirement. Glenn Haydale, Principal, Thibodeau High. Donna Blanchard, teacher, W.S. LaFarge, 27 years of service. Donna Blanchard is a genuine individual who always put her students first. She was loyal and committed to serving Lafouche Parish School District. Monica Tozan, Principal, WSL. Faith Barker, teacher, Bayou Buff Elementary, 27 years of service. Faith Barker was a caring, dedicated, and influential educator and co-worker at Bayou Buff Elementary. She was a great asset to her school community. Stacy Adams, Principal, Bayou Buff. Lottie Danos, teacher, South Rose Elementary, 27 years of service. Fantastic math teacher, always willing to go the extra mile for students and teachers. Great mentor teacher. Holly Buzigard, Principal, South Rose Elementary. Tisa Hill, teacher, Central LaFouche High School, 27 years of service. Congratulations to Mrs. Tisa Hill on her retirement. We thank her for her dedication, commitment, and years of service to the Central LaFouche High School. Chris Arnold, Principal, Central LaFouche High. David DeLon, teacher, West Thibodeau Middle School, 26 years of service. Mr. DeLon, although didn't spend a lot of time at West Thibodeau Middle due to his rotating schedule, was very cheerful and a positive role model and was always willing to assist in whatever capacity needed. Administration, faculty, staff, and students at West Thibodeau Middle will miss Mr. DeLon. Latanya Young, Principal, West Thibodeau Middle. Donna Glenn, teacher, Lockport Lower Elementary, 25 years of service. Mrs. Glenn had great knowledge of the curriculum and content that she taught, as well as the ability to adapt to any technology demands she met along the way. Decina Rodriguez, Principal, 
Blockport Lower Elementary. Corey Tabor, teacher, WS Lafar, 22 years of service. Corey Tabor is a very humble individual. She led others with her actions. Corey Tabor made a difference at WS Lafar. Monica Tozan, principal, WSL. Jennifer Cabot, teacher, Rayson Middle School, 19.5 years of service. Ms. Cavett is a strong advocate for the students that she worked with and always did what was in the best interest of her students. Karen Osborne, Principal, Rayson Middle School. Millie Etchler, Teacher, Thibodeau High School, 15 years of service. Thanks for your service to PAC for your students at Thibodeau High. Enjoy your retirement, Glenn Haydell, Principal, Thibodeau High. Paraprofessionals. 245.95 years of experience. Annette Hebert, paraprofessional, Lockport Lower Elementary, 32 years of service. Annette believed in helping others. She would always assist in any ways our students and staff needed her. The Senior Rodriguez, Principal, Lockport Lower Elementary. Mary Jackson, paraprofessional, Thibodeau Elementary, 30 years of service. She was the smile of pre-K and the face of our child care. She was always making sure our little ones were safe and happy. She gave 100% to Thibodeau Elementary and was a friend to all. We wish her a happy retirement. Robin Bourgeois, Principal, Thibodeau Elementary. Jody Ogeron, paraprofessional, North Rose Elementary, 29.5 years of service. Miss Jody was always in when it came to best helping her students. You knew when she was given a task, she would complete it with 100% effort. Celeste LaBeouf, Principal, North Rose Elementary. Gail Barrow, paraprofessional, Brayson Middle School, 27 years of service. Ms. Barrow is a very positive worker who would do anything that she could for the benefit of Brayson Middle School and her, its students. Karen Osborne, Principal, Brayson Middle. Amanda Mathern, paraprofessional, Bayou Blue Upper Elementary, 27 years of service. Miss Amanda was a very dedicated employee. She made the library a fun place to visit. She touched the lives of every student she taught. She never forgot a name and treated each student as if they were her own. Her presence at school will be definitely be missed. Becky Plaisance, Principal, Bayou Blue Upper Elementary. Marie Thibodeau, paraprofessional, Thibodeau Elementary School, 26 years of service. Miss Marie was an asset to Thibodeau Elementary. She loved our students and enjoyed working with the students in centers. We wish her a happy retirement. Robin Bourgeois, Principal, Thibodeau Elementary. Lori Lucas, paraprofessional, Central Lafouche High School, 23.5 years of service. Congratulations to Miss Lori Lucas on her retirement. We thank her for her dedication, commitment, and years of service to Central Lafouche High School. Chris Arnold, Principal, Central Lafouche High School. Christine Maynard, paraprofessional, Chag Bay Elementary, 21 years of service. Ms. Tina spent all of her years in pre-K taking care of our babies with a motherly touch. She took an active role in our annual Veterans Day program to always ensure that our home hometown heroes that fought for freedom we enjoy today were recognized and appreciated. Lacey McKinney, principal, Chag Bay Elementary. Cheryl Verdon. Paraprofessional Chag Bay Elementary, 21 years of service. Over the years, Ms. Cheryl worked in many areas at Chag Bay Elementary, pre-K, special education, and ISS. Her talents for arts and crafts were used numerous times throughout the years to make many of our events even more special. One of her greatest joys this school year was watching her niece be selected as Chag Bay Elementary Student of the Year and then Lafouche Parish Elementary Student of the Year. Lacey McKinney, Principal, Chag Bay Elementary. Lisa Revstock, Paraprofessional, Cutoff Elementary, 8.95 years of service. We would like to congratulate Ms. Lisa Revstock on her retirement at the end of this school year. Lisa has been a dedicated employee of the Flush Parish School Board for several years. She has worked with every grade level in various capacities. We wish you years of making beautiful memories on your next part of your journey in life. Thank you for all your years you have helped to make Cutoff Elementary a success. Christine Collins, Principal, Cutoff Elementary. Office Personnel, 32.5 years of experience. Paula Farragut, Secretary, Central Office, 32.5 years of service. As a secretary, Paula was very instrumental in the daily functions of the Central Office. 
her organizational skills, creativity, keen eye for detail, and experience had enhanced the efficiency of our office. Thank you for your 32.5 years of continued service and dedication to the district. Bernita DeVille, HR Director. Bookkeeper, 28 years of experience. Shannon Guidry, Bookkeeper, Golden Medal Middle School, 28 years of service. Ms. Shannon Guidry was more than a bookkeeper. She was also a teacher. She taught me how to manage school finances as no college class could prepare me for this aspect of leadership. She made Golden Medal Middle School a better place with her excellence. Hennessy Melanson, Principal, Golden Medal Middle School. Specialist, 78.5 years of experience. Elizabeth Richard, Retirement Specialist, Central Office, 40 years of service. Happy retirement to our retirement specialists. Your dedication and willingness to assist everyone did not go unnoticed, and although you have retired, your legacy will remain. Enjoy all that retirement has to offer. Chastity Email, Assistant Business Manager. Terry McCollum, Payroll Specialist, Business Department, 38.5 years of service. Congratulations on your retirement. Working in payroll with you was a joy. Your dedication, patience, and hard work ensured everything ran smoothly. May you enjoy many fun-filled years with family and friends. Chastity Email, Assistant Business Manager. 504 IAP SBLC Chairpersons, 33 years of experience. Mona Berger, 504 IAP SBLC Chairperson, Pupil Appraisal Center, 33 years of service. Mona served the public school system in capacities of teacher, interventionist, SBLC chairperson, and 504 liaison. Her dedication and tireless effort impacted many children and families in the LPSD, and her influence remains evident in the practices that LPSD currently implements to educate students who qualify for Section 504 services. Jim Shorter, PAC Manager. Grant Accountant, 35.5 years of experience. Lisa Hebert, Grant Accountant, Business Department, 35.5 years of service. Congratulations on your retirement. Thank you for your service and generosity, not only to the district, but to everyone with whom you connected. Wish you the best. Chastity Email, Assistant Business Manager. Media Specialist, 31 years of experience. Connie Day, Media Specialist, Thibodeau High School, 31 years of service. Thanks for all the dedication and service to Thibodeau High School. It is because of your efforts that Thibodeau High is a solid technology-rich school. Enjoy your new position. Glenn Haydell, Principal, Thibodeau High School. Technology, 50.5 years of experience. Anna Key, School Technology Assistant, East Thibodeau Middle School, 25.5 years of service. Mrs. Anna Key was a kind, loyal, and dedicated employee at East Thibodeau Middle School. She has willingly given all that she had to our Spartan community. Ms. Key worked countless hours assisting faculty, staff, and students with technology demands. Her passion for our school was prevalent throughout her everyday interactions with our staff members. I am so thankful to have had someone like Ms. Anna Key as a member of the East Thibodeau Middle School family. Go Spartans, happy retirement, Ms. Anna Key. Sharon McPherson, Principal, East Thibodeau Middle School. Marlene Stadnick, School Technology Assistant, East Thibodeau Middle School, 25 years of service. Mrs. Marlene Stadnick has been a part of the East Thibodeau Middle School family for one year. She is a sweet, nice, and caring STA who is willing to assist with any technology demands. Mrs. Stadnick goes above and beyond to complete her daily tasks while working between three schools. She has been a good asset to the East Thibodeau Middle School family and we will miss her dearly. Thanks for all you have done, Mrs. Stadnick. Sharon McPherson, Principal East Thibodeau Middle School. Maintenance, 39.5 years of experience. Chris Lagarde, Lederman, Maintenance Department, 30.5 years of service. Chris was a valuable resource with 30 plus years to the Lafourche Parish School District. His knowledge and expertise in the workings of the maintenance department will never be replaced, but the entire maintenance department wishes him total and complete rest and relaxation for the entirety of his retirement. John Sheremy, Maintenance Manager. Philip Chasson, Designated Apprentice, Maintenance Department, 9 years of service. 
I really enjoyed working and getting to know Philip. He was always ready to work and always ready to tell a funny story. Tommy Vegas, maintenance worker. Child nutrition, 211.17 years of experience. Lucille Thomas, child nutrition tech, North Rose Elementary, 39 years of service. Miss Lucille fed generations of students in our community and did so with a smile on her face every day. Celeste LaBeouf, Principal, North LaRose Elementary. Lorraine Estev, Child Nutrition Manager, CM Washington, 35 years of service. Miss Lorraine has a heart of gold. She is very positive and always smiling. Miss Lorraine works well with administration and has built positive relationships with students and staff. She goes above and beyond to meet the needs of our school. She has been servicing our students for 35 years. That is a blessing. We will miss Miss Lorraine. Happy retirement, Gina Johnson, Principal, CM Washington. Beatrice Stewart, Child Nutrition Tech, CM Washington, 34 years of service. Miss Beatrice, Miss B, is very sweet. She's happy and always smiling. Miss B has a big heart. She loves her job and our students. She has worked in our district for 34 years. Happy retirement, Gina Johnson, Principal, CM Washington. Lisa Guidry, Child Nutrition Tech, North La Rose Elementary, 28 years of service. Miss Lisa took pride in the work she did and always went that extra mile to form relationships with the students. Celeste LaBeouf, Principal, North La Rose Elementary. Angela Woods, Cafeteria Manager, Thibodeau High School, 26 years of service. Thanks for your service and dedication to Thibodeau High School. Your efforts in the cafeteria were above and beyond. Enjoy your retirement, Glenn Haydale, Principal, Thibodeau High School. Mitzi Johnson, Child Nutrition Tech, Golden Medal Middle School, 25 years of service. Mitzi Johnson always had a smile on her face. It was a joy to be greeted with a smile and a genuine care and compassion for serving children. Hennessy Mellison, Principal, Golden Meadow Middle School. Paulette Turpo, Child Nutrition Tech, West Thibodeau Middle School, 17 years of service. Ms. Paulette was a pleasure to work with. She treated everyone as if they were the most important person in the school. She always greeted the students and staff as they entered the cafeteria with a positive attitude. Administration, faculty, staff, and students at West Thibodeau Middle School will miss Ms. Paulette, Latanya Young, Principal, West Thibodeau Middle. Christine Lede, Child Nutrition Tech, Cutoff Elementary, 7.17 years of service. We enjoyed having Christine here with us. She was very dedicated to her job. She is also a very dear friend. Thanks, Christine, for the years you were employed with us. Enjoy your retirement. Jerry, Char, Jen, Michelle, and Sam, cafeteria staff. Licensed practical nurse, 27 years of experience. Anita Dozor, LPN, South Rose Elementary, 27 years of service. Great nurse. Her infectious laugh is missed around school. Always willing to go above and beyond. Holly Buzagord, Principal, South Rose Elementary. Transportation, 57.5 years of experience. Melissa Cortez, bus operator, 25 years of service. Ms. Cortez will truly be missed as a bus operator. Her leadership, knowledge, and dedication to her craft cannot be overstated. Ms. Cortez dedicated 25 years to the students of Lafouche Parish, and that is simply irreplaceable. Mitch Landry, Transportation Coordinator. Paulette Collada, Bus Operator, 19 years of service. Ms. Collada was one of the most selfless and kindest drivers in Lafouche Parish. She was always willing to dedicate her personal time for the benefit of the Transportation Department. She constantly attended meetings on her personal time to discuss routing and other transportation issues for the benefit of the students of Lafouche Parish. Mitch Landry, Transportation Coordinator. Regina Antoine, Bus Operator, 13.5 years of service. Ms. Jean is truly one of a kind. Her dedication to her students was shown every single day. She was always willing to mentor or help any driver in the Bayou Blue area. Her knowledge of her craft and dedication will truly be missed. Mitch Landry, Transportation Coordinator. Custodian, 80 years of experience. Sally Benoit, Custodian, Valuable Middle School, 26 years of service. Miss Sally was a very hard worker. We will miss her and her sense of humor around her, our halls. 
Bayou Blue Middle School wishes you well. Andre Adams, Principal Bayou Blue Middle School. Linda Chasson, custodian, North Rose Elementary, 25 years of service. Miss Linda prided herself of the appearance of our school. She always made sure that the building was in tip top shape and keeping everyone safe was a top priority. Celeste LaBeouf, Principal, North Rose Elementary. Leroy Bolt, custodian, CM Washington, 16 years of service. Mr. Bolt knows the ins and outs of our school. He is always happy. We can count on him whenever he need, we needed something. He is always available. We will miss Mr. Bolt and his wonderful smile. Happy retirement, Gina Johnson, Principal, CM Washington. Inetta Robertson, custodian, Thibodeau High School, 13 years of service. Thanks for the years that you have helped to keep our school looking nice, neat, and festive. Glenn Haydell, Principal, Thibodeau High School.
Um, we were determined at that time to give our members the opportunity to engage them in the learning experiences. We held our cooking contest virtually. We've never done that before. Uh, if, you, if you've ever witnessed sugar and seafood, we have probably close to 700 dishes. We have a lot of participation. So we had no idea what a virtual cooking contest would even look like, much less who would participate in it. But we had almost 400 entries into the sugar, just in sugar and seafood. We have lots of other cooking contests throughout the year. But the kids were determined to participate, which again says a lot for 4-H and, and of course your support. So we appreciate that. Uh, we also had uh, 85 entries into our speaking contest. Again, virtually, they, they videoed, they sent those, those videos in. Uh, our top winners went to the state contest where we had uh, three who won first place. We had 14 entries into the state contest. We had eight second place winners and three third place winners. So we were well represented at the state contest. In fact, Kristen Richard of Central Lafouche will be representing Lafouche and the state at the national contest in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. So we're, we're real proud of her for doing that. Uh, we were also able to do face-to-face -face activities. Um, we were, they were not all virtual. Uh, as time went on and, and the restrictions were, were kind of laxed a little bit, we were able to do, do junior leader meetings, we had our livestock shows, we had our rabbit shows, our poultry shows, and of course Achievement Day at, at the end of the year. So we were very pleased to be able to bring all our, our uh, kids together and celebrate not a, a typical 4-H year, but a 4-H year that, that we were able to have. Our shooting sports program practiced on the weekends, and the members participated in regional and state competitions, and two of our members will also be participating in the national shooting sports program later on this summer. This summer, we have three day camps that are being planned for our elementary and middle schools. Uh, some of our middle and high school students will be participating in different contests before a university. And we're also planning a trip to Disney World in July. So things are, are moving ahead. We're looking forward to it. Lafouche Parish has really a long tradition, as I'm sure some of you will attest to, of participation. And we look forward to the future and being able to involve them in even more events and activity as things go back to normal and even better. So do you have any questions for me? Again, thank you for, for your support. And uh, we hope to be coming back soon with, again, even more news and events that are going on in 4-H. Okay, thank you very much. B, to consider selecting the Daily Comment as the official journal for the Lucas Bush Parish School Board <coughs> period July 1st, 2021 through June 30th, 2022. Mr. Martin. Yes, Madam President, recommendations to approve the item as the daily column is the long uh, newspaper day that satisfies the requirements that, that we have to meet to have a picture. Okay. I'll move. Motion by Mr. Dr. Dennis Gia, seconded by Ms. Valerie Bourgeois. Any board discussion? Any public comment? If not, we'll vote. Motion carries. 
D, to consider a low bid plus three alternates in the amount of 200, no, excuse me, 28464000 from Thompson Construction Company, LLC, for the new Thibodeau Middle School project and take appropriate action. Mr. Blazon? Good evening. On May 20th, we had the pleasure of opening the bids up uh, for the new Thibodeau Middle School. We had two bidders, one from Lincoln uh, Construction and one from Thompson Construction. So tonight, it is with great pleasure because I was very skeptical about this. Uh, I'd like to make a recommenda recommendation that we accept a little bid from Thompson Construction Company, $28,464,000 for the base bid plus all three alternates. Motion by Mr. Tim Long, seconded by Mr. Barry Plazons. Any more discussion? Yes, Ms. Martina? I just want to say how excited I am that we're able to do this while we haven't voted on it yet. But that we have a local construction company that we can support. Uh, it's very important for us to do business with our, our um, people in our area who, who employ our people, so our, our citizens. So I'm um, very delighted for that. Um, so. Mr. Blazons? Thank you, Madam President. I'd also like to say three uh, local company to get it uh, that employs local people. Um, I'm also thrilled about the price. Uh, you know, with construction costs going up. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Evan. She'll work tirelessly, and Mr. Martin as well, uh, about the, the work up of the bid. And you can see the number of a great thing, especially from a very old company. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'd like to uh, also uh, voice my support for Thompson Construction. I'll work with them as they built the Rear Magnet Center and uh, work with some of the, I guess, higher ups there. <coughs> they did a fantastic job, and I assume they'll do a fantastic job on this as well. And that price, I'm, I'm like, I'm like Mr. Clayton, I'm almost said, uh, that's a bargain basement bid right now. Mr. Woodry? I just wanted to point out that the architect's letter that is attached uh, provides information that it is a conforming bid. So we have no issues with that. Thank you very much. It was nice to have you. <laughs> um, Mr. Positary, is there anything that you would like to add? Uh, well, again, we were, as Evan said, we were pleasantly surprised at the number. Um, if y'all remember in the ABLE committee meeting, man, so I kind of tried to brace everybody for what we thought would be a number that was slightly above our estimate of 30.9 million. So when we, and in fact, we opened the other bid first and it was 31 million and some change and I was kind of happy with that. <laughs> so we really got what I would say were two good numbers, but I'm ecstatic to work with, with Thompson Construction again. Um, Evan and I have been in communication for the past year, uh, at least daily, if not more. So uh, it's been it's been a, it's been a, a enjoyable experience so far. <laughs> but now we roll up our sleeves and, 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 and keep uh, you know, keep going with the hard work. So now now the fun starts. Uh, to get so I'd like to introduce Mr. Patrick Drake, yeah. who's a uh, representative contractor, Thompson Construction Company. So, uh, we're very excited to do this. This uh, when we finish this. Thompson Construction will make 67 years in business. So this is uh, our biggest project. We've done a couple right under this, but this one's huge for us. So we're very glad that we get to work with everybody and uh, looking forward to a good project. So hopefully I wasn't too cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both very much. Thank you. Any public comment? If not, we'll vote.
bring it off the table at a later date and so on and so forth. So I recommend that we postpone to a later date. Thank you very much. So, motion by Ms. Valerie Bourgeois, seconded by Mr. Tim Long. Any discussion? Okay. If not, we'll vote. I think this is going to be a hand vote. Okay. We have a hand vote. All yay. Okay. Any nay? Item F, to award the lowest responsive bidders for janitorial and inventory supplies and take appropriate action. Ms. Tobias? Please find before you the results of the um, bid for janitorial and inventory supplies with permission for the board to award the list of items according to the lowest responsive bidders. Thank you. And we have a motion by Dr. Dennis Ia, seconded by Ms. Marion Petita. Any board discussion? <coughs> Any public comment? If not, we'll vote. Motion carries. G, to receive a report on bids received by the Child Nutrition Board Department for bread, class one, to be used for the 2021-22 school year and consider and take appropriate action. Ms. Fletcher? Good evening, Mr. President and Superintendent Martin, members of the board. We had one bid uh, for our bread this year and we were recommending the lowest bid being on specification to be awarded to Flower State and Hockey. Any board comment? I'm sorry. Motion by Ms. Marion Petita, seconded by <coughs> Mr. Claudia Planis. Any board comment? Any public comment? If not, we'll vote. school year 
and consider and take appropriate action. And I recommend that we award this item to Joe Septic. Motion by Mr. Randy Schwest, seconded by Ms. Valerie Bourgeois. Any board discussion? Any public comment? We'll vote. Motion carries. Item you. K, you're welcome. Thank you. Item K, to approve the lowest responsive bidders per item for pandemic supplies and take appropriate action. Ms. Tobias? Yes, please sign before you the results of the pandemic supplies bid with permission from the board to award the list of items according to the lowest responsive bidders. Thank you. Motion by Mr. Barry Plazons, seconded by Mr. Randy Schwest. Any board discussion? Yes, Mr. Plaisons? Let me get this over. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, before we even vote on this, I'd just like to say thank you to Mr. Tobias and Ms. Fletcher for all the work that they put in and your, your staff that put in to get all these bids together. Thank you so much for everything that you do every year for the same bids, so thank you so much. Anyone else? Any public comment? <coughs> we'll vote. Motion carries. Item L, to consider approving the annual renewal, renewal for Barracuda email security gateway and an additional subscription to add an advanced threat protection cloud-based service and take appropriate action. Mr. Chauvin? Good evening. This proposal is for the annual renewal of our email filtering solution um, with a, an additional uh, subscription for advanced threat protection. As you're aware, uh, there's been a significant rise in cyber attacks over the past couple of years, and uh, K through 12 school districts are one of the top targets. Um, over 90% of ransomware attacks come in via email, so this closed solution will better protect our email system. Um, it's a cloud-based solution that will sit on top of our, our current filter and will um, defend against more zero-day advanced Thank you. Motion by. <laughs> Mr. Joey Planet, seconded by Mr. Tim Hall. Any board discussion? Any public comment? We'll vote. Motion carries. Item M, to consider approving an additional module to Destiny Library Management Software and take appropriate action. Mr. Chauvin? Uh, Destiny is the software that we use in our libraries to assign and uh, check out library books as well as textbooks. Um, we attempted to use the same system to assign our Chromebooks out to our students this year. Um, the system just simply isn't built for those types of, of resources. Um, Destiny has, a, has an add-on called Resource Manager that is, that is designed for any other resource that's not a book. Um, so Chromebooks, uh, really any, any piece of technology, any, anything that the schools want to add into the system that will allow them to barcode anything um, and assign it out to both students and staff. Um, so I'm proposing that we add this to our current subscription. Um, it, it will definitely make our distribution of devices a lot more efficient and it will allow us to better uh, keep track of, of where our, our chromos are um, as well as any other technology or anything else we decide to put into it. Thank you very much. Motion by Ms. Bath Bourgeois, seconded by Ms. Robin Bell. Any board discussion? Any public comment? Yeah, I just want to add. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I just wanted to ask uh, Jamie. Uh, Jamie, the, the cost, I saw it's quite a bit for you. Is that because it's... Uh, yeah. Yes, it's a it's a pretty significant uh, cost the first year to implement the software to convert the current database into this new platform uh, to convert two systems together. 
um, but year two and beyond is, is significantly less. And I would like to point out too that um, this is in addition to our current system. Um, the current renewal for the, the library piece, um, in, in, in looking at this product, we were able to determine that we were paying for subscriptions that we weren't using. Um, so that annual renewal was, was just under $50,000 and we were able to get it down to 25 dollars um, so we're, we're essentially cutting that piece of it in half. And so uh, from year two on, the savings that we were able to produce um, is actually going to pay for the system from year two on. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? Public comment? Vote, we'll vote.
Mr. John Stafford, retired band director. Mr. John Stafford was hired by the Lafourche Parish School District on September 1st, 1968 as a band director at West Thibodeau Junior High School. Then on August 21st, 1978, he accepted the position of band director at Thibodeau High School. Mr. Stafford retired on June 1st, 1988, having served the Lafourche Parish School District for a total of 20 years. Ms. Dixie Brunet, retired principal. Mr. Long. Yes, Ms. Dixie Brunet was hired by the LaFouche Parish School District on August 26, 1974, as a special education teacher at Cutoff Elementary School. On September 14, 1983, she began as an assessment teacher throughout the district. Then on October 4, 1984, Ms. Brunet was promoted to principal at the Central LaFouche Develop Development Training Center. She also served as, for, as principal for Bayou Bluff Elementary School and La Rose Middle School during her career. Ms. Brunet retired on September 24, 1996, having served in LaFouche Parish School District for a total of 22 years. Thank you very much. Mr. Bernard? Uh, yes, I'd like to make a few comments. Uh, I, I knew Dixie very, very well. In fact, uh, she took over my position at Rose Middle School when I left, and I say this without reservation, the school administration definitely took a step up upon her arrival. <laughs> I was there and I liked it uh, second. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she stayed there a couple of years, several years, then she moved to the wide spaces of uh, Mississippi and uh, uh, get, get rid of the wildlife in the body, I guess. And uh, her son, uh, Alan, still lives in, uh, in the Tenth Ward. And the Rose Middle School is now South Rose Elementary. And my beloved Little Rose Middle School is now parking lot. So, uh, best of luck to uh, uh, her family as, as they go through this uh, lawsuit. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Ms. Dorothea Champagne, retired child nutrition assistant manager. Mr. Dufresne? Ms. Dorothea Champagne was hired by the LaFouche Parish School District on October 3rd, 1961, as a child nutrition technician at Central LaFouche High School. Then, on November 2nd, 1981, she was promoted to Child Nutrition Assistant Manager at Central LaFouche High School. Ms. Champagne retired on May 31st, 1988, having served the LaFouche Parish School District for a total of 27 years. Mr. Narcisse Maya Jr., retired teacher. Mr. Benoit. Yes, uh, Mr. Narcisse Maya Jr. was hired by the LaFouche Parish School District on January 13th, 1993 as a special education teacher at South LaFouche High School. Mr. Maya retired on January 12, 2003, having served with LaFouche Parish School District for a total of 10 years. And I'd also like to make a few comments because I knew Narcisse, who's a very religious man, he was devoted to his wife, Melba. Uh, they have four daughters, four daughters, and he loved his grandchildren. He was a community leader. He served as on the parish council, and I can say this without reservation, uh, he did not miss much and enjoyed life to the purpose. So, mm -hmm. Ms. Fatima. And I just want to uh, add a little bit more to that because we were personal friends with Narcissus and, and um, uh, I have forgotten her name. She's had a, it's been a while since we've seen her, but I would, um, he was a very fine man. Loved life to the fullest, was a really good cook. And I think he even drove buses for the school system at one time and possibly worked for just a little while at the um, at the career magnet center. Uh, yes. No, I think he did, uh, uh, maybe after you left him. Yeah. No, okay, but anyway, just a, a fine man, um, loved his family, loved his church, and um, he, I mean, he missed. And his wife, Melba, is. Um, currently in the nursing home because she's had a stroke. Uh, so we'd like to keep them all in our prayers. Thank you both very much. Let the record reflect that these resolutions were adopted by general consent and will be recorded on a special page of our minute book. Five, tentative dates of future meetings. A, policy and procedure committee, Tuesday, June 15, 2021. B, transportation committee, Tuesday, June 15, 2021. C, Land and Facilities Management Committee, Tuesday, June 15, 2021. 
D, Insurance Committee, Wednesday, June 16, 2021. E, Finance Committee, Wednesday, June 16, 2021. F, Academics Committee, Wednesday, June 16, 2021. G, Board Member in Service, Wednesday, June 30th, 2021. H, Advisory Committee Meeting, Monday, July 5th, 2021. And I, Regular Board Meeting, Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. For item six, executive section, session, is to consider entering executive session to review cumulative evaluation of the superintendent for the spring semester of 2021 school year in accordance with policy CEI evaluation of the superintendent and RS 4217A1. Motion by Dr. Dennis Gia, seconded by Dr. Mr. Tyler Dufresne. <laughs> With that, we'll vote. Do we have hand vote? Do we have Motion carries. And just a reminder that when we return, we'll just be adjourning the meeting. So just to let everyone know.